Hi guys, it's Hogan here and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the tiles add-on by Themify. It is these cool tile icons here that flip over when you hover over them. It's also the same one that I use for my website. A lot of people have asked me how I did this so I thought I'd make a quick video on it. Okay, and one of my viewers has also implemented this for his own website for his social icons and it just looks really cool, gives it this professional touch and also not many websites have it so it's going to help you stand out from your competition. So without much further ado, we're going to start this tutorial. To begin this tutorial, you actually need to get the Themify add-on. So you need to go to plugins here, hover over that and build our add-ons. And then you'll need to get the add-on bundle, which means you get all the add-ons here for $39. Or if you only just want the tiles, then that would be only $15. But I recommend you getting it all. It's just a better deal. Or you can also opt for the Themify Master Club in which you get the all the themes and also the Photoshop files, the plugins such as the announcement bar, which is really good for announcements if you want to sell something the post type builder which is really good for listings such as real estate and movies um, books and all those things so make sure you check those out and you also get the add-ons all the add-ons so it's just a really good deal and you can use the coupon code hogan for a 30 percent discount yeah so after you've bought your add-on you need to log into your dashboard to download it to your computer so scroll down here and find the add-on which is the tiles add-on so after you've downloaded that onto your computer if you're using a mac or a safari browser it might actually unzip the files automatically so you make sure you recompress the file into the zip file again or you can use another browser such as google chrome to download it okay so after you've downloaded it log into your wordpress account and go to your dashboard and we're going to install the plugin so go to plugins and add new upload plugin choose file so just find that zip file you've downloaded so just click on open and install now i'm not going to install now because it's already on here and after installation make sure you activate the plugin somewhere here and after you've done that, now hop back onto the front end of your website or wherever, or wherever you want to add the tiles. So we're basically gonna turn on the Themify Builder now. And then we're gonna scroll down and I'm gonna add the tiles down here. So before I actually show you how to add the tile module in, I'm gonna show you how to crop the image so it perfectly fits into the tile. So what I normally do is I might set up a tile module in here and then I might just leave it empty. Perhaps I might just select color and then save. Okay, so basically that's the tile there. And what I normally do is I use the add-on Jing by TechSmith and you can find that add-on on this website here, techsmith.com forward slash Jing dot HTML or you can just search up Jing on Google and then you can download it and install it onto your computer. It's free so it's really good and easy to use and what I normally do is I use the capture feature and then I just measure the pixels of the actual tile so the size of it so it's about 240 by 240 so I remember that size and then what I do is I go to photo and I go find the image that I want to use. I think it was this one, smiling at the camera, and click on open. And as you can see, the file for that image is really big. So it's over 2000 pixels in width and over 1300 in height. And let's say if I wanted to crop that at 240 by 240, so that would be too small and you couldn't get the whole face with the tie and all that. So what do you need to do is to resize it first and make sure you click on use percentages so it's easier. So I'm going to change that to 20% so it's going to be 20% of the original size. Okay, so make sure you do that for both the width and also the height. After that's done, so it's you can see it's about 400 pixels in width and about 270 in height. That's good. So what you would normally do is go to crop now and then type in here 240 by 240 or whatever size that tile is, okay? And just drag it there and until it's perfect, that looks pretty good. So you've got the whole face, you've also got the shirt and the tie. 
Now we're going to apply, so that crops it in, and you can also enhance it or do overlay effects to it. I'm just going to leave it as normal because it looks pretty good already. So I just save it, and I just save the quality as normal, that's good enough, and the file is about 30 kilobytes, which is really good. So you want it to be small so your page loads fast. And just save that to your computer. I'm not going to save it. I've already saved it here as smiling at camera. And yeah, so make sure you save that there. After you've done that, you can go back to your website. Okay, so let's just double click on that tile and change that tile to the small size. Okay, the small square. You can change it to the portrait um, one or the landscape one. It's up to you. And for the type, I'm going to choose this one, the second one, which is the button type. And for the title, I'm just going to type in Thai Collection. The title link, so whichever link um, you want that to link to, that title to link to, I'm just going to put that as an example. And you can also open link in Lightbox or a new tab. And the icon type basically means if you go to my website, this is the icon. Okay, so I don't want to add an icon there, so I'm not going to add that one in, but if you'd like something like uh, the one that you see from my website, then that's what you do. Okay, and you can also use an image as an icon, so it substitutes the icon graphic for an image, and then just basically choose the color of the icon. Okay, so right now we're going to scroll down. I'm going to select the tile color as default for this one okay and the custom style the background color I don't need that because I'm going to choose the image as that so the text color I'm going to choose it as white and link color as white okay so the background image URL is the image that we cropped just then okay so browse the library and select that image or upload that file from your computer and select that image insert that file URL okay so that is done and then after that, you just click on save. Okay, so now we're going to edit the back tile. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the size again, so the small square. And also the type, we're going to choose the text because I want to have text on the back. Okay, so for the tile color, I want it to be black. So we're going to choose that one. And here we're going to type in new men's tie collection and I'm going to change that to paragraph 3 you can change it to whatever you want and you can also edit the font on the back end here as well so I'm going to change this text color to white so that it actually shows in this black background scroll down and the action button text I'm going to change that to shop now and the link so just add any link uh, of your choice and you can also choose to open in Lightbox or open in Tab. I'm just going to leave that. The auto flip so it basically means uh, every one second or two seconds, it's automatically going to flip over. You can select that, but I want it to be disabled because I want people to hover over it and then flip when they actually hover over it. And you can also change the flip effect. So you can select from any one of these. I'm just going to keep it as the horizontal. And custom style, I'm going to leave those empty. And I don't want a background image, so I'm going to keep that one empty as well. Now I'm going to save and see how that looks. Okay, I'm going to save that and close that and let's see how that looks. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's pretty good. Except the text on the, on the front here, tie collection, I want it to be on the top. And basically to do that, we just need to change the size of the text so it's a bit smaller. Okay, so turn on your builder again and click on edit. Then you'll need to just go to styling here. Make sure it's on the front tab styling. Select the font size to be 12px and save and that should do it. So as you can see, that's pretty easy. So to edit the second tile, it's going to be even easier. So what you need to do is basically just duplicate the module, duplicate that and it should appear next to it. And what you need to do is to just edit it and then we're just going to change the image. So scroll down to here and for the background image URL, just um, delete that and browse library and upload the file that you have edited on Photo. I'm not going to show you that because you should know how to do that now. So after we're going to do that, 
select that file and insert that file URL. All we need to do is basically just to change the title. So this one might be suit collection and the link might be different. So you can change that as well. For example, suit or something like that and scroll down. Okay, so that's all good. So now go to your back settings and basically change the text here. So new men's maybe suit collection. One, two, three. Okay, so I've got that suit collection. Now you can change the URL again. Okay, and basically leave those as default. Okay, so we're going to save that and hopefully it's all good. Save that. Close that one. And there you go. So that's really simple. And to do something like this, it's really easy as well. All you really need to do is just insert the icon. So for example, turn on the builder and let's say I want to insert the icon in there. Okay. So just for the icon type, select icon and select any icon in here. For example, I want this arrows and the color may be a white color should be okay. Just save it. And there you go. So you've got your icon in there and yeah, it looks pretty cool. So we're just going to delete that because I don't want that there. Click on save and basically that's it. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you have any questions, leave it down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.